I booked my air ticket with Mass Airline. Total cost for my air ticket is around 608 ringgit Malaysia. I booked my hotel from Traveloka, the Wave Patong Botik Hotel. The standard room is only 68 ringgit Malaysia per night. The room is big enough for two persons and it is clean. It has small refrigerator and safety box. When you arrive airport, you can buy a local SIM card named DTEC. It is pretty cheap, costs around 19 ringgit Malaysia. For 8 days, unlimited internet for social apps. And definitely you need a network to communicate each other and use GPS to go around the Phuket Island. There are a lot of money exchange stores in Phuket. The currency rate at the airport is quite low. Then I highly recommend you to change Thai baht outside the airport, such as Baton. And then you can rent a scooter in Phuket with only 28 ringgit Malaysia per day. But it is hard to find a petrol station in Phuket. But there are a lot of stores which selling petrol in bottle. It is around. 4 to 6 ringgit Malaysia per bottle with 700 ml. Then the petrol is cheaper at the petrol station, which only 3.5 ringgit Malaysia per liter. If you are looking for a fun night out in Phuket, Bangla Road should be your first stop. Almost all of the bars are outdoors or open front, so the music from each one blends into a mess of mist beasts. Beer bars occupy most of the street's length. Street performances are also common most nights. I bought my tour at the airport once I landed. It is around 166 ringgit Malaysia per head to PP Island. I highly recommend you to buy the tour at the airport because the price is almost the same at outside. At the same time, you can get discount for a taxi fare from airport to your hotel. First, we went to Pile Cove. We just round the island with the speedboat and see the cave, the local people collect the honey. After that, we went to Monkey Beach at Pipidong Island. Do not feed the monkeys because they will come to you in group and steal your food. Sometimes they will bite you too. So, just be careful. After we see those monkeys, we proceed to the snorkeling point which is not far from the monkey beach. The diving mark is free to use, but, but if you lost it, you need to pay for 1,500 baht, which it is around 192 ringgit Malaysia, so take care of it. After the snorkeling, we proceed to a beach nearby to have our lunch. It's already included in our tour fee. After the lunch, you have 30 minutes to walk around the beach. After lunch, we proceed to the last island named Kai Island. This is the island with a lot of water activities such as banana bog, jet ski and etc. The beach is very beautiful to shoot photo or video as well. That's the end of our PP Island day tour. For day 3, we just ran a bike and go around the Phuket Island. First, we stop at the Kata Beach. Kata Beach is a pleasant bay, just a few minutes south of Karon Beach, which has many visitors with its white sand and clear water. After our lunch, we went to Big Buddha. On the way to Big Buddha, we can have an elephant ride. We pay for 1,500 baht. It is around 192 ringgit Malaysia for 15 minutes ride for three person. Phuket's Big Buddha is one of the most important landmarks on the island. The lofty site offers the best 360 degree views of the island. Karong viewpoint is one of the most frequent viewpoints in Phuket. 
The viewpoint is busy most days of the year and is a stepper of many tour itineraries. Protep Cap is one of the island's most photographed and perhaps best known locations. Every evening, large tour bus scooters in private cars gather here to watch the sunset view. Okay, come to the food. First, my favorite dish, white tom yam. Local people call that tom kakai, and it is really delicious, and it is around 120 baht. Mangoes, the famous fruit in Thailand. Also one of my favorite fruit in Phuket, and it is really cheap, only 70 baht per kg, and it also comes in juice, only 50 baht per glass. Pork leg rice is one of my favorite food too. It really tastes nice too. Somdang papaya salad is tastes sweet, sour, and spicy. You must try it. Mango with sticky rice and coconut milk. The coconut, even it is small, but it is really sweet and tastes good. Another famous food in Phuket is pineapple fried rice. For me, it tastes like normal fried rice and nothing special. <laughs> this is the food that local taxi driver recommend to me, named masama or chicken curry. I don't know what is this seafood called, but it is a BBQ oyster perhaps that I found at the night market and it is only 150 bar per stick and it definitely tastes very good Next, my entire trip in Phuket Island I have listed all my expenses at my video descriptions below Thanks for watching and bye bye